goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Yo, 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 this game's a graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today, I'm going to show you how to install Spider-Man and the Spider-Man script from Julio NIB. Okay, y'all? There's a couple of requirements we're going to need. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Right, first off, we're going to need script hook V, okay? Then the next one we're going to need is script hook V dot net, okay? After that, we're going to need native UI, okay? Then we're going to need open four, all right? And last but not least, we are going to need the power script from Julio NIB. In order to download any of Julio NIB's mods or scripts, you're going to need to become a Patreon, which means you're going to have to donate to um, Julio NIB, okay? Um, if you look right here in the tiers right here, it lets you know the amounts that you could donate per month, okay? At the lowest amount is $2 per month, and then you have uh, $5 per month, and then you have $10 per month, okay? So right now, currently, there's only three tiers that you could um, apply for, okay? Um, currently, right now, I am in the $2 tier right here, okay? So um, I get pretty much all the mods that has uh, been released already. Um, if you look down here, if, if you pay $10 or more, then you will get a lot of his mods that um, he is still currently working on, okay, before um, other people could check them out, okay? So they have different uh, tiers right here, okay? But um, in order to try the Spider-Man, the power mod, you only need to donate at least $2, okay? So um, once you get that all figured out and squared off and you get to this page right here, I will have all the links down in the description. You want to click on that link and it will bring you to his page right here where his post is at, okay? Now, if you click on Spider-Man right here and you scroll down, you will see uh, he has a NIB Spider-Man update, okay? You can click continue reading and then right here, he'll have a download link right here, okay? You just click download and they'll bring you to this page right here you should see a page with a video at the top and they'll say GTA 5 NIB spider-man download okay it'll let you know at the top of the post that the download link is in the end of the post okay so if you scroll down uh, make sure that you read all of these also okay these are important information right here this link right here will lead you to where it will explain the hot keys and the tips and uh, things of that type of nature so you can know how to work spider-man once you play them so click on this link and i'll show you the controls for them okay um, this also has uh, the mod goes with a sample suit dot any file for this pet model by the mad breaker okay so if you click on this one right here let's go ahead and click on this one also right we're gonna open up that one as well <clears throat> all right this one leads to the spider-man civil war homecoming uh, spider-man suit okay click back here it says the mod goes with a sample suit dot any file for this pet model okay so I suggest that we go ahead and download this link right here that we opened up which is the spider-man civil war homecoming okay now once we download all of those links that are in the description it should look something like this right here okay now, if you look in this folder, I put all of the downloads that we just downloaded, but the only thing I don't have here is open for, okay? I will leave a separate link down in the description for a video explaining on how to install open for, okay? That's only if you don't have open for installed already, all right? If you do, then you're all good to go. If you do not have open for installed, watch the video below, and then you can continue with this video, all right? So let's go ahead and look at what we have downloaded. We have native UI. We have script hook V. We have script hook V.net. We have Spider-Man Civil War Homecoming. And we also have um, the Spider-Man Power Script. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start off with the native UI folder. 
now on the right hand side in this folder I have my Grand Theft Photo 5 directory opened up okay and um, this is my scripts folder if you do not have a scripts folder go ahead and right click on your mouse and create a new folder and name it scripts okay once you have that scripts folder created go ahead and open up scripts all right now we can come over here to our native UI folder let's go ahead and click on native UI folder you open it up it will have one file okay we're gonna click that one file drag and drop that into our scripts folder just like so all right now we could go back to our Grand Theft Photo 5 directory by clicking on Grand Theft Photo 5 that'll bring us back to our directory right here now if we go down to our next folder we have script hook v dot no this is just a regular script hook v excuse me we're going to click on script hook v and inside that folder it will have another folder that says bin click on bin and we are going to take the first file and the last file okay just the first and the third file we're going to grab those two drag and drop those right here inside of our grant that photo 5 directory just like so all right now we can go down to our next folder which is script hook v dot net click on that folder then we're going to take these last three files down at the bottom just the last three then we're going to drag and drop those into our grand theft photo 5 directory just like so all right now we have let's go ahead and go down to the spider-man power script okay we're going to come back to the civil war uh to homecoming but let's go ahead and uh, install the spider-man first okay by clicking on the spider-man folder when we open it there will be a readme i always suggest you read the readme okay let's just go ahead and click on the readme to see what's inside there's going to be instructions and there's going to be a couple of links to uh, Julio NIB's um, uh, social uh, media links and also his YouTube so you can check out his videos as well it says use open for package installer to install the mod always choose mods folder option okay always choose the mods folder option and he also has instructions down here for the manual setup okay this is for the manual install all right we are going to be doing the automatic install um, so you don't need to worry about the manual setup unless you want to do that on your own okay so let's go ahead and click out the readme and if you look below the readme we have a open for file it will say the superman wip dot oiv okay now what we want to do now is go ahead and open up our open for all right so now that i have my open for on the right hand side and then i have my spider-man uh, power script on the left hand side all I'm going to do is grab the spider-man WIP file right here and I'm gonna drag and drop that right into my open for program now as soon as I do that it will be a package installer window that will open up just like this right here this is the spider-man script mod by Julio M NIB click here to see more about the mod what this package will change and it will let you know right here exactly what the files um, will be changing okay but don't worry about it because we're going to put it all inside of our mods folder so whenever we don't want this stuff anymore we just get rid of the mods folder and it won't change anything inside the game okay so what we're going to do is click on install right here then we're going to click mods folder okay always click mods folder if you don't have one then create one inside of your GTA 5 uh, directory just create a folder and name it mods okay we're gonna click on mods folder and then you're gonna click on install okay let's give it a couple of seconds let it install six and a half hours later all right might take a little longer than a couple of seconds <laughs> it might be a minute or two but after that you should get a installation succeeded message okay once you get that you can click this little uh, button that says close or just exit out the window all right 
once we exit out that let's go ahead and minimize open four for right now then let's bring back up our Grand Theft Photo 5 directory okay now let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder now inside that scripts folder you should see a folder that says the spider-man script files okay let's go ahead and open that up all right and if you see uh you'll see three folders and then you'll see uh two text documents crimes and rodeo uh web rodeo ents let's click on the suits folder all right now this is the suit folder right here okay this is where you can add your um your own suit folders and everything i will make uh future videos to show you exactly how to add these uh, these any files into the uh, scripts folder okay for your julio nib mods all right i'll make a separate video for that but as you can see right here he has the suit the spider-man civil war um any file right here for the mod that we had downloaded earlier okay so i just wanted to download this one first just to make sure that this one is already in here let's go ahead and click on grant that photo 5 directory now you're also going to need add-on pads installed for this next step that we're finna do okay we are going to install the spider-man civil war to homecoming pad right here and we are going to need add-on pads for that if you have add-on pads installed already you're all good to go if you don't i will have a link down in the description that will show you really quick how to install add-on pads once you have watched that video come back here and we can continue all right now that you have add-on pads installed let's go ahead and open our open four all right let's go ahead and click on mods update 64 dlc packs add-on pads dlc pads and right here is where our spider-man add-on pad is going to go so let's go here to our spider-man folder and inside the spider-man folder you have a couple of options of which spider-man that you want we have the option to get the regular Spider-Man from Civil War or the Unmasked Spider-Man from Civil War or the WB Wings Spider-Man from Civil War, okay? What I'm going to do is just go ahead and pick the first Spider-Man, which is the regular Spider-Man from Civil War. I'm going to take those four files I just highlighted, then I'm going to drag and drop those right here into Open 4. And as you can see, it's right here. It will be, make sure that you have four files, okay? It will be four files that you're dragging over, all right? You see these four right here? It will be a YDD file, YFT, YMT, and the YTD, okay? So very important that you uh, grab these four files for whichever add-on pad that you want, all right? Now let's come back over here to open four, all right? You can go ahead and click on Spider-Man that we just had added. Now let's go ahead and copy his name. All right, we're just going to click till his name is highlighted and click copy. All right. Now let's go back to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Bring that up. I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here on the right hand side. Let's open up Add-on Pads Editor. Okay. Let's right click on that and run it as administrator click yes and you will have a little box a little window pop up like this this will be your add-on pads editor okay let's go ahead and minimize the grand theft photo 5 directory now we should still have our open four right here on the right hand side still open inside of our add-on pads folder okay now the name spider-man that we just copied we're going to go here to pads and with this little arrow right here we're going to click on it and click new pad all right, inside of model name, we're gonna paste Spider-Man's name that we just copied, which is Spider-Man Civil War. Okay, we just got we all we always have to make sure that this name here inside the add-on pads folder matches up with the name inside of the add-on pads editor. Okay, it's very important. Next, we're gonna to go to pet type and click male because Spider-Man is a male. All right, and is streamed. We're gonna click false. Okay. Uh, the only pl 
players are the only add-on pads that are streamed will have a folder okay as you can see on this side right here spider-man doesn't have a folder he just has four files right here that we needed to install okay so we're going to click false for is stream then we're going to click add pad once you click add pad let's go ahead and click rebuild then a little window will pop up saying rebuild completed five add-on pads saved or however at however many add-on pads you have it will say that amount and it will say saved okay so click okay all right now from that part we are done with that let's go ahead and exit out of add-on pads editor now we can go to uh, file click close all archives that'll bring you back to the front page of open four now we can exit out of open four since we're done with that let's go ahead and bring up our grand theft auto 5 directory as well we could exit out of that now the only thing left is to run the game all right so once you're in the game you want to press control n okay control n on your keyboard and that will open up the menu the nib mods menu okay now if you have multiple of uh julio nib's mods installed and they will all be listed in this menu in the top left corner okay so for us we just installed spider-man all right and as you can see i still have venom installed from previous videos all right now once you find the character that you installed which is spider-man click on spider-man then you will see a menu it will see at uh, the top option will say enable true you want to leave that alone that's the powers then you come down to the next option is suits then you have um a little well it's not a little it's actually um how should i say this is actually a mode where um it sets like uh criminals out for you to go and catch and uh, apprehend and you know do like the spider-man stuff okay so this is a pretty nice thing right here. It's, it's, it's more likely like of a, a script right here, okay? Um, if you go down, you will see Spawn Ally, all right? That's uh, pretty much like Spawn a bat, a, a Bodyguard, but you will spawn a uh, Spider-Man or whichever of Julio and IB's mods that you have installed, okay? And then you have Spawn Enemy. That's the same thing like Spawn Ally, but it will be an enemy. And then you have Spawn Killer, okay? This person will just you know be a straight killer just killing everybody it'll be an enemy it'll be killing everybody uh police and all all right then you have kill all enemies which is the button you can press to kill um all the enemies that you spawn or you could kill all allies all right then you have your options right here i'm not going to go through uh, this long list but feel free to check all the way through this whole menu okay now let's go back up to suits right here now suits right here this is where you want to pick the uh spider-man outfit that we had just installed we had just installed spider-man silver war by the mad breaker okay so before we pick that suit right there let's go ahead and open up our add-on pads menu by pressing l on our keyboard okay now let's go ahead and select spider-man from the silver war all right, this is Spider-Man from the Civil War. Man, he looks pretty good, though, don't he? Wow. Okay. Now, once you have Spider-Man um, up, then we're going to open up NIB Mods menu by pressing Control n Select Spider-Man. Select Suits. Then select Spider-Man Civil War by the Mad Breaker. There'll be a message at the bottom that says, Checking your Patreon. All right. So if you're not a Patreon, another um, another screen will pop up that will prompt you to go to the website to become a Patreon. If you're already a Patreon, then you will have something like this pop up saying that the Spider-Man controller mode use default controller layout. Press A to use default call, uh, default controller layout or press backspace B to use custom controller settings. OK, and that's in the controls menu. All right. I'm going to go and press A. All right, let's exit out that menu. Oh, 
Uh, what's over there? <laughs> what button accidentally press? Click on Spider-Man suits and then Spider-Man Civil War by the Mad Breaker. All right, and there we go. All right, we can exit out of uh, the menu by pressing zero on your controller if you're using one, on your Xbox controller or your PlayStation controller. Press B or zero to exit out of the menu. There we go. And as you can see, we have um, we have a, a HUD, actually. We have a new little HUD on the screen. In the top right corner, it says Impact Web. And on the top left, it says our health right there, okay? Now, I'm not going to go through uh, too much of the buttons right now. I don't want to make this a too long video. But uh, this is pretty much it right here. Now, like I said, if you open up the... Oh, hey. Where are you going, buddy? Oh. Whoa. Wow, you okay, buddy? He messed you up. Hey, you just going to stand there, huh? <laughs> Look at that right there. I like that one. <laughs> Where you going, buddy? Why don't you stick around for a minute? <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I'm going to end it right here. I will make another video um, with Spider-Man, uh, kind of showing everybody more of his controls and everything. Uh, but definitely stick around for that. If this video helped you out to install Spider-Man, smash that like button. Definitely share the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is Games and Graphics. Me and Spider-Man, we're going to swing around a little bit. All right. We'll see you all next time. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.